welcome back to Pulse of the Port. The most efficient method for moving cargo from the terminals here across the country is by rail. And ITS recently upgraded its on-dock rail facility. Now, Jerry, what did you guys do out here? Well, we nearly doubled our capacity with the new rail yard. We actually were the first terminal down here in the Port of Long Beach that had double stack trains calling on dock back in 1986. So how does that help operations here in the terminal? Does it smooth things out for you? Oh, big time. By putting cargo on the trains and going out the gate that way, it saves the truckers in the yard, it alleviates the congestion in the yard, and also it saves the pollution in the, in the environment, surrounding environment, by the trucks not going out there and it's on the train. Construction is going on all over the Port of Long Beach and will be for about the next decade. Check out what's on the ever-changing horizon. Building the port of the future while creating opportunities for growth in our community now. That's what's going on at the Port of Long Beach. $4.5 billion worth of capital improvement projects are well underway and they will transform what is already one of the nation's busiest and most successful seaports. On that list is the Middle Harbor Modernization Project. Construction of this $1.2 billion project officially kicked off in 2012 to create the greenest, most technologically advanced terminal the world has ever seen. It will combine two aging terminals into one 305-acre home for Long Beach Container Terminal and Orient Overseas Container Line, which signed a 40-year, $4.6 billion lease to operate at the site. One-third of the wharf is already complete, and contractors are building the container yard along with several buildings on the north side. 1,000 construction jobs are being created each year of the nine-year project which will result in 14,000 new permanent jobs when complete. Running literally alongside Middle Harbor is an equally significant and massive endeavor, the Gerald Desmond Bridge Replacement Project. This $1 billion project will create a wider and taller span to ease traffic flow and allow much larger, taller vessels to pass below, while adding a striking and iconic asset to the Long Beach skyline. 3,000 construction jobs per year are supported by the project. Oil wells have been relocated and a terminal island off-ramp has been demolished to make way for the bridge project, which is slated for completion in 2016. The bridge replacement spawned another project as well. The Port of Long Beach is in the process of relocating its own maintenance facility, which is in the path of the bridge. Expected to be completed in late 2013, this complex will also include covered storage and vehicle repair facilities and meet the most stringent environmental standards. And speaking of green, the Greenport Gateway Rail Project also has the green light. Funded by $84 million in state and federal transportation funds, 29,000 feet of new track will be laid to increase the port's on-dock rail capacity and ease the flow of traffic to and from port terminals. Just one additional container train is equivalent to removing 750 trucks from our roads. It's a win for the environment and for our economy. These are just a few of the ways the Port of Long Beach is fueling our community and building a better tomorrow. Already, one in eight jobs in Long Beach are supported by port operations. If you'd like more information on these projects and the jobs they create, visit polb.com. At more than a billion dollars each, the Gerald Desmond Bridge replacement and Middle Harbor are two of the biggest construction projects in the 102-year history of the Port of Long Beach. Pretty exciting stuff. We'll be right back.